Okay, so <clears throat> so a student sent me a one-off question. So I just want to show you guys real quick and ask if I can help them solve it. So again, if you have any questions, any type of math question, I don't care if it's algebra one, two, pre-calculus, calculus, even if you're in college and you're and you're taking things like uh, calculus one, two, or calculus three, differential equations, these things I can help you with it. Just send send um. Send your homework question to me and give me some time, maybe, you know, 24 hours. I, I would get back with you with a solution. All right, so let's take a look at the solution that was sent to me from a student. An investor deposits $50 on the first day of each month in an account that pays 3% interest. Hmm. Compounded, compounded monthly. What is the balance at the end of two years? This type of investment plan is called an increasing annuity. Formula for in compound interest is given. <clears throat> P is the principal interest. R is the annual interest rate and is the compounding years. And T is the and, and T is is the compounding years. N is the N is the compounding. I think this should have made a mistake there. Oh, I did. But um anyway, um I'm gonna show you my attempt at a solution. I, I do believe it's correct. Um, let me know by leaving a comment if it's other one, if it's anything else. But first thing first, let's let's analyze some given things that they give to us. So you deposit fifty dollars on a on the first day of each month. Let's take a look at this. Next thing, you you the account has it's gains three percent interest, and this is compounded monthly. So every month there is a three percent interest on the total. So three percent of of fifty dollars is the first one. Then, then the next month is three percent of fifty something dollars, whichever that something is. And then after that is three percent again of the net result. So this is this happens all the way through through two years. So this this account is going to be getting three percent for 24 months because there's 12 months in a year and there's two years so the account is going to be getting interest so let me pull out my calculator so we have three percent times 50 that will give you uh, 1.5 so 51 dollars and 50 cents the first month then three percent of 51 dollars and 50 cents again so it just it continues to grow each month so first month you start off with 50 dollars second month you have 51 dollars and fifty cents and fifty cents. Third month, let me see again. Add that to fifty three dollars. <throat> Basically fifty three dollars. You can say that is is dot zero four five or whatever. So that's basically how it works, and this happens. This goes. This is all the way for two years. So the question is, what is the balance at the end of this two years? What is the total balance, you know, that this person made in this account? Okay. So the first thing is, you want to actually calculate this interest to see if I actually did it right. So let's let me show you what I did. So here is here we're giving. This is the sum. That you use to calculate the finite. This is a ge this S of n is used to calculate the the finite sum of a geometric sequence. So the uh, a, a finite geometric sequence. So basically, one that does have a, that stops somewhere. Basically, it's not infinite. It's finite. So the first thing I did was I found the first uh, the first term a of one. Using the formula they gave us in the last slide, I plugged in 50 for the first one. The principal is 50. P is 50. 12 months in a um, in a year, and then the interest R 3%. Added that together, I got 50 times R. So <clears throat> so now to find the total sum, all I did was I used I, this is A1 using the sum, A1 right here. A1, I plugged my answer into here. 
A1. I use use my rate, my total rate. Be careful. R and it's no longer 0 0.03. R is now 1.025. The total rate um, for the whole 24 months. There's it's two years. There's 12 months per year. So my this is my R now. So this R, this value, I plug that in here, and N is 24. N is 24 because it's 24 months in two years. And then I just use a calculator, and I got this. Hopefully that's right. That's a lot of money. Summed up anyway. And if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this helped you. Um, get back with me with comments, feedback, how I can improve. Thank you very much. Have a good one.